So we have a type of statistical study described here. I encourage you to pause this video, read it, and see if you can figure out, is this a sample study? Is it an observational study? Is it an experiment? And then also think about what type of conclusions can you make based on the information in this study. All right, now let's work on this together. British researchers were interested in the relationship between farmers' approach to their cows and cows' milk yield. They prepared a survey questionnaire regarding the farmer's perception of the cow's mental capacity, the treatment they give to the cows, and the cow's yield. The survey was filled by all the farms in Great Britain. After analyzing their results, they found that on farms where cows were called by name, milk yield was 258 liters higher on average than on farms when this was not the case. All right, so they're making a connection between two variables. One was whether cows called by name, whether, whether cows named, all right. Whether cows named, and this would be a categorical variable because for any given farmer it's going to be a yes or no that the cows are named. And so they're trying to form a connection between whether the cows are named and, and milk yield. And this would be a quantitative variable because you can, you're measuring it in terms of number of liters. Milk, milk yield, whether we are drawing a, a connection. And they're able to draw some form of a connection. They're saying, hey, when the cows were called by name, milk yield was 258 liters higher on average than on farms when this was not the case. So first, let's just think about what type of statistical study this is. And we could think, okay, is this a sample study? Is this a sample study? Is this an observational study? Observational, or is this an experiment? Now, a sample study, an ex experiment. A sample study, you would be trying to estimate a parameter for a broader population. Here, it's not so much that they're estimating the parameter, they're trying to see the connection between two variables. And that brings us to observational study, because that's what an observational study is all about. Can we draw a connection? Can we draw a positive or negative correlation between variables based on observations? So we've surveyed a population here, the farmers in, in Great Britain, and we are able to draw some type of uh, connection between these variables. And so this is clearly an observational, an observational study. Now, if this, this is not an experiment. If there was an experiment, we would take the farmers and we would randomly assign them into one or two groups. And in one group, we would say, don't name, no name, no naming. And in the other group, we would say, name your cows. And then we would wait some period of time and we would see the average milk production going into the experiment in the no naming group and the naming group. And then we will see, we will wait some period of time, six months, a year, and then we will see the average milk production after either not naming or naming the cows for six months. So that's not what occurred here. Here we just did the survey to everybody and we just asked them this question and we were able to find this, we, we were able to find this connection between whether the cows were named and the actual milk yield. So clearly, not an experiment. This was an observational, observational study. Now the next thing is what can we conclude here? We know when, you know, they're telling us that when the cows were named, it looks like there was a 250 eight liter higher yield on average. So the conclusion that we can strictly make here is like, well, for, for, for farmers in Great Britain, there is a correlation, a positive correlation between whether cows are named and the milk yield. So that we can say for sure. So let me write that down. So for Great Britain, for, for Great Britain farmers, Great Britain farmers, farmers, we have a positive correlation, positive correlation between naming cows, between naming cows and milk yield, and milk yield. That's pretty much what we can say here. Now, some people might be tempted to try to draw causality. You'll see this all the time where you see these observational studies and people try to hint that maybe there's a causal relationship here. Maybe the naming is actually what makes the milk yield go up. Or maybe it's the other way. The cows produce a lot of milk, the farmers like them more, and they want to name them. Because it's like, hey, that's my high milk producing cow. 
So there's a lot of there's there's a lot of temptation to say cow, you know, naming that maybe there's a cause out of that naming causes more milk, more milk or that maybe more milk causes naming. You the farmers really like that cow, so they they start naming them or or whatever whatever it might be. But it's you can't make this causal relationship based on this observational study. You might have been able to do it with a well constructed experiment, but not with an observational study. And that's because there could be some confounding variable that is driving both of them. So, for example, that confounding variable might just be a nice farmer. A nice farmer and you know we can define nice in a lot of ways they're gentle they and a nice farmer is more likely to name and a, a nice farmer is more likely to get is gets a higher yield and the reason why this is a confounding variable if you were to control for that if you just take well let's just let's just control for nice farmers and then see if naming makes a difference it might not make a difference if the if the farmer is you know petting the cows and treating them humanely and doing other things it might not matter whether the the, the whether the farmer names them or not likewise if you take some less nice farmers uh, who you know hit their cows and and they they have really inhumane conditions it might not make a difference whether they name the cows or not And so it's very important that you from the observational studies you might if they're well constructed you might be able to make a a, a you might be able to say there's a, a correlation but you it's you won't be able to make a drive a causal or make a causal conclusion